everybody, it's Jennifer from Wayne's Daughters, and today we are gonna have you garden with the girls, that's what we like to call it, um, with all of the patriotic holidays coming up, and especially Memorial Day, us, all of us sisters here at Wayne's Daughters, we love to have at least one patriotic planter in our yard all summer long, just to remind us of everything that, you know, why we have our freedom and everything that has been sacrificed for where we live today. So I'm gonna make you guys, and um, please write down what we have, or make a list of everything. I'm gonna make quickly a patriotic planter to put on your porch or patio. Before I start, I always place everything in there first. Um, I do know I probably have a little too much, but I like everything real big and full all the time. Instant gratification, that's me. So, I'll take it all out here. And this is gonna be for full sun, very low, low maintenance just likes its little water and fertilizer. So I'm gonna start with millet. This is Juster Millet, the lime green chartreuse is beautiful. This is gonna be my thriller. Thriller meaning that this is going to be the tall focal point in my planter. So I'm gonna place that right in the middle towards the back. On each other side, my other obsession is the big begonias. I've talked about these often. They take full sun or full shade. We have a great supply of these. So I'm gonna plant these as well. They get about 12 to 18 inches and virtually no maintenance. I used to use a lot of geraniums and this is my new go-to. Okay, so we'll put these in here. This will be a great touch of red. Hummingbirds love these. So if you love your hummingbirds, you've gotta get these big begonias. I love next the Plectranthus, Iboza vine. If you smell it, it's citronella. It's a little secret plant to keep your bugs, those pesky little mosquitoes away. So this is gonna be a filler, but it's also gonna be a spiller once it gets established. It fills in beautifully, but it also goes up and spills out. All right, next we have to add our touch of blue. So we have from Proven Winner, the Artist Blue Adriatum. I love it, very, very low maintenance plant as well. And these are gonna be little fillers. I'm gonna place these next door right here. Oops, that's all right, we'll get that. Next thing I'm obsessed with again, the um, Centropia series of the Heliotrope. If you smell this, it's like, wow, like sweet, kind of vanilla smell. Again, hummingbirds, butterflies, love this stuff. I'm gonna place this right on the other side of the ageratum, so the blue are kind of next to each other. Okay, and I know this is looking full, but like I said, I like it big. Next, what I'm gonna do is do the spillers. Drop them pots all over here. So we've got trailing verbena. I have the beautiful fan flower, the white scavola, and the beautiful um, lobelia, but this one is for sun, a little sunnier area and trails beautifully. A lot of lobelias love shade. This one does not. Okay, and these all trail a good 12 inches or so. I'm gonna place this one, I think, in the middle, right here, just right in front of this white Iboza, just so the colors kind of balance out. I'm gonna put my red verbena, and as you see, I always kind of tear the roots apart at the bottom. Little secret of mine, just so they kind of just squeeze in better. And the roots kind of get some air and they take off quicker, I think. I'm gonna squeeze that on the front corner. All right. And then my last, like I said, I have the fan flower. This also comes in a really pretty blue. So if you don't like the white, you can always use the blue. Tear that off. Squeeze that up in this corner. And we are almost finished. It is not finished until I get my American flag out here. And we put this right dab in the center. And there we go. Happy Memorial Day to all of you that have served we appreciate all your sacrifices and service. And another little fun thing I did with the kiddos, my own kiddos, is they wanted to make a little planter. So you can do just really cute little planters for the kids with really fun accessories, just like this little one. So please come out and visit us soon. We are open this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, nine to four. Memorial Day is nine to three. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.